Hey guys, pretty cool little uh, tube amp here, 6MB-100 uh, Yak Shack Communications Corporation there. Um, on and off switch here, standby switch here. Somebody has broken the tip of the standby switch off. Uh, the load and tune basically have to do them with a small flathead screwdriver. Uh, I'm guessing they probably didn't come that way, but uh, that's the way they are now. So. Uh, we'll show you how much this guy is doing. I'm going to pop the covers at the end of it here. Give you guys a look at it. It's, uh, it's either a one or two tube. A little modulator type amp. And uh, I'm guessing by the 100, that's kind of what they rated it at. Now, obviously, I don't have a real super weak radio to run into it. My little single following unit in is going to have to be the best we can do. About 35 watts PEP, uh, 10 watts, 9, 10 watts average. Um, and we'll show you, you know, uh, kind of what this thing's doing. Now, I've already pre-tuned this one. I tuned it out for peak power, uh, modulated peak power, basically audio. Okay, max power, audio, max power here. So it's kind of pre-tuned on the uh, dummy load here. Obviously, if you put it in a different setup, if your setup's not exactly 50 ohms and a, uh, you know, reasonable SWR 1110, something like that, you'll have to retune it uh, ever so slightly. Has a fresh power cord on it, looks like. Somebody's put a fresh power cord on it. I've just got it plugged into a uh, surge protector down here. So directly into the wall, it might do just a little bit better. But this is probably going to be the ballpark, uh, what you can kind of expect out of it. So we've got our 500-watt uh, slug in here. We'll be looking at the middle scale. This is just average power first. Hello. Audio, uh, and a little bit over 40 watts average. That big hash mark you can see there would be 50, and we're not quite to it, but we're uh, a little bit over 40 watts average. And then PEP, audio check, one, two, three, audio, uh, audio. about 135 to 140. Uh, PEP out of this guy. Um, we can take this out and see what it's doing dead key wise and see what we're kind of putting into it as well. So we'll just put a uh, we'll put a 50 watt slug in to kind of monitor our uh, dead key. So it does climb a little bit, probably the tube heating up, uh, dissipating a little bit more power. About 10 watts. And then we'll just turn the amp on standby. And it's about a watt, watt and a half going in. So with a watt, watt and a half dead key in, you get about 10 watts out. Let's turn our dead key up on our radio. Let's go two watts and see what it does. Yeah. So it's got some decent gain to it. So two watts is giving us, you know, 28 to 30 watts a dead key out of it. Uh, what I'll do now, I'm just going to pause the video, guys, and then I'll, I'll pop the covers, let you guys take a look on the inside. I've never had one of these before, so I've never seen inside of one of them. But uh, that'll conclude the uh, power output test of it. And uh, it's warm. I wouldn't say it's hot. Uh, a lot of these little one and two tube deals didn't come with fans on them back in the day. You may find, you know, you'd like to put a fan. If you were going to put a fan on it, I would mount it like right over here, blowing across the bottom of the tube. You could mount one up here if you wanted to. Uh, but uh, you may find that it needs a fan put on it. It's, it's a little warm. I wouldn't say hot. But uh, give me a second, we'll pause the video, and we will be right back. Okay, guys, we're back here. Uh, got a look at the top of it here, transformer there. A uh, little relay back there in the back. Uh, two tubes in this guy, and uh see if I can turn a little light on the subject here. I don't know if you guys can see. Probably not. Um... But someone has written on this tube a week, which I don't know what they tested it in, but uh, 
it didn't fall back in power or anything testing it so you take that for what you will it may very well be capable of more power uh, but they held tune so generally when you got like a real weak tube they'll 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 rise up in power a lot like considerably when you stay key down now we did see the dead key come up that doesn't worry me too much uh, on these tube amps a lot of times you'll see that uh, when you stay on the key for four or five seconds, they'll they'll come up a little bit. Um, but it could need tubes put in it. Unfortunately, I can't tell exactly what kind of tube it takes. And some uh, tube guru out there may be able to tell you by the pin out and everything um, what's actually in there. But I can't see the writing on them, so I'm not even going to pretend to uh, to know what it is. Um, there's a name of a tube company there on the side of it. Uh, you got a little thing here that says original tubes only. So uh, take that for what you will. But uh, it's a good running amp, of course, as always. I, rec I, uh, I encourage anybody that knows more about these than I do, which would not take a lot of knowledge at all because I don't know diddly, diddly squat about them. Uh, but if you know about these amps, you got some knowledge on them, a tram doctor, somebody like that, uh, you guys can chime in and tell me all about them or inform the audience all about them. Uh, all I can tell you is that it does good, about 130 watts PEP, about 40 watts average, 140 PEP. Uh, it is for sale. It'll be up on the website, roostercb.com. Make somebody a, uh, a decent little bargain on this guy. If you're looking for a little small amp, maybe to kick into something, a little single 500Z you want to kick it into or maybe you've got a high drive amp and you just want a, a, a tube amp in line to give you that uh, crunchiness to your uh, your audio, give your audio that little bit of edge to it. And uh, this might do the trick for you. The Yak Shack Communications Corporation. That's it, guys. Uh, this one will be up for sale under used and specialty items, roostercb.com. I'll snap some pictures of it and uh, get it up there. All right. Appreciate it, everybody. Have a good one out there, Rooster in Tennessee. See you, bye.